Friendship, partnership, and cooperation have long defined the history between the peoples of the United States of America and Morocco. More than two centuries ago, when the Stars and Stripes were raised for the first time, Morocco, under Sultan Sidi Mohammed bin Abdullah, was the first country to recognize the independence of the new nation. Since then, the relationship has continued under the Treaty of Friendship and Amity, America's longest continuous treaty in force. With the recovery of Moroccan independence, the abiding friendship between Rabat and Washington has continued as the two nations have sought ways to strengthen their ties. On April 2, 1957, the United States and Morocco entered into an agreement under which the United States made a commitment to provide a program of economic and technical assistance to Morocco. Over the last five decades, the American people have invested over $2 billion in the human, economic, and institutional development of Morocco. The United States Agency for International Development has worked with the government of Morocco to address the priority needs of the Moroccan people. The Malouya Basin Irrigation Project was among the first notable accomplishments of USAID in Morocco. Between 1960 and 1974, this $40 million activity contributed to the construction of water projects such as the Mohammed V Dam and the Meshur Hamadi Dam, transforming thousands of hectares of semi-arid wasteland in the Oriental region into productive use. This water system continues today to contribute to the economic sustenance of the region and to the livelihood of more than 50,000 semi-nomadic people and their descendants. The development of a professional cadre of Moroccans has been an essential ingredient for the evolution of Moroccan social and economic development. USAID has, over the years, supported a large effort to assure the skills and competencies of Moroccan professionals in a variety of sectors. Human capacity building through training and degree programs in American universities has contributed to the development of knowledge and professional expertise of a large number of Moroccan academics and public servants. More than 4,500 Moroccan professionals have been trained, especially in agriculture, public health, and rural development. Much of the training built scientific, management, and technical competencies in agriculture and agribusiness. This contributed to the development of the National School of Agriculture in Meknes, as well as the Hassan II Agricultural and Veterinary Institute in Rabat. Today, the excellent scientific education and extensive agricultural services that support Morocco's rapidly expanding agricultural export sector are the fruit of this successful partnership in training. For more than 30 years, the United States Agency for International Development was the Ministry of Health's principal partner in family planning campaigns and maternal and child health programs. With an investment from the American people of $126 million, the results of this partnership were incontrovertible. The statistics speak for themselves. The number of children born per woman dropped from seven in 1979 to three in 1997. Over the same period, the infant mortality rate decreased by 67%, and the rate of maternal mortality during childbirth dropped by 47%. The partnership between USAID and Morocco continues to resonate with ongoing campaigns that raise the awareness of Moroccan women and men about the importance of maternal and child health. Healthy mothers and healthy children make families that are better prepared to contribute to the health of the nation. Morocco has become a world leader in the microfinance sector. This is due in no small measure to the effective collaboration of vision among key Moroccan partners and the United States Agency for International Development. This collaboration led to the adoption of an innovative legal and regulatory framework that has enabled Moroccan non-governmental organizations to lead the way in the delivery of microcredit and other microfinance products. USAID support in the creation of Alamana has been rewarding to hundreds and thousands of small business owners and their families. With access to credit, these entrepreneurs have grown their businesses, created jobs, and achieved a level of economic success they had never thought possible. In Mat, a microcredit association in the region of Warzazat would never have made its start without the financial support of USAID. The majority of its clientele are rural women who, for the first time, are able to contribute fully to the productive economy and grow their own businesses. 
These projects are just some key examples of the work that the U.S. Agency for International Development has accomplished together with its Moroccan partners. As Morocco has developed and its needs have evolved, the nature of the collaboration between our countries has also evolved. This collaboration continues today as we work together towards an educated and democratic nation competing successfully in the global marketplace.